Hi everybody, I'm about to change my um, set over for, and for my pump. Um, I've got here the 250 milligram of soluble Cortev in 200 solution of water and I've got the 100 milligram of two solution of water. I've already pressed this one down because this one takes a little longer to dissolve but I'll just show you by pressing down on the active bar with the hard part of the thumb. It's nice and firm table, push down the stopper give a little swirl around and just let that dissolve. So now I'm going to take my pump off and unscrew the old reservoir. I'll just leave that sit there. And I'll just rewind that now. Um, so go to menu, unlock reservoir and tubing, select a new reservoir, select and rewind button. So that's just now rewinding, getting ready for everything. So the first thing I do is I have to wait for this solution to dissolve. So now both the activals have dissolved and I just take the little caps off, off the top, of both of those. And I take the little needle off the top of the reservoir, put that there, just loosen the bottom of that just a little bit, just till it's loose. Now I'm going to alcohol wipe and I wipe the top of my ectovals, sterile, and I wipe the top of my reservoir. So I'll just pop that there and now I will add my needle to my syringe, a little cap off. Draw down about one mil of air and then uh, draw the 250 up first because what we, because this is a 300 mil reservoir um, we put 250 in and then only 50 of this 100 I only draw up 50 of that one so I pop that in the top turn it upside down and I leave the bottom I leave my syringe at the bottom because I find that it helps me to draw it up better I push in the air, otherwise I found without the air there's too much vacuum in which to draw it up. And then you, you can just let it fill, you can draw down and it sort of just fills itself. You can draw the whole up down slowly. I just push the needle to the base there near the red, and I pull it all down and I can see that I've got it all now. Taking care, being careful not to pull it all out of the bottom like I did once and lost it all on the table in front of me. So I've got every last drop of that. That's empty. So I leave that sitting there at 2 mil because that provides a, lot, it's a little bit of air of which to push back into here. Push it into the top. Push in that air once again. To where it just sits and comes up to the top there. Then I draw down till I'm back down to the three mil down here again. There we go. I've drawn that. I've drawn down all that I need. Stop that there. Take that out. Now you have to make sure there are no air bubbles, and there's one down the bottom, so I can flip those. I can take a little bit of. Do you worry about the air bubbles? No, not too much. It's not like in shot. Anyway, I push, I push it up until all the air is out of the top there and solution comes out the top of the needle. So that's all ready now. There are tiny, tiny little champagne bubbles are okay, so that's all right. You can push, push this down now in, and load the reservoir. And you have to hold it off the table because if you put it down, um, you the stopper stops prevents it from filling. So you've just pushed that down gently into the top of that, and then push down and fill. Squ squeezing it in, you can see the bottom push down till it's all filled in there. And you don't want any air at the top of it. So at this point, I just draw the needle back a little bit and suck out that last little bit till all the air is drawn out of it. So now 
that's perfect because there are no little bubbles or any air pockets in there at all. So now we carefully twist out the bottom that was hanging out. And now it's time to load onto the tubing. <clears throat> so I'll just pop that down on the table. And this is a little um, quick set. So now you just put the little, um, you screw that onto the top of there. Till it goes down and clicks and doesn't turn any further. Now I load it into my, it's rewound, so I can just put it into the top of my um, pump, push it down and turn until it clicks into place. So now what we have to do is fill the tubing. So I go to my pump and it says load reservoir. So but I have to unlock it and it says fill reservoir. So I hit next, place reservoir into pump and lock. It's already in there. Do not connect to body, press next. Select load and hold down until complete, but don't connect to the body as yet. So you press the button down and just hold and you hear it and it will tell you when it's finished loading. So I fill the tubing and I'm just holding this button down till the drips come out. I should come out in a moment. There we go. Yeah, the drips are out. So that's it. So now I have to load my um, tubing into my little inserter kit. So it goes in this way. So that there's a little um, uh, exit point here where this part of the tubing sits into and you press it gently you have to have this off the table because you can't do this it won't allow you to press down so holding it up in the air you just press till you just feel that it's stuck which it is it just you just feel that peel back the paper very very gently you don't want to lift that I just hold that there gently with my finger you just don't want that the sticky part that goes to your skin to lift off. And then you pull down on that there and it's now loaded ready to go. There's that little um, plastic device in the centre there that you have to very gently twist and pull off and that exposes the needle that goes into your tummy. So now I'll just rest that on the table and get a clean Alco wipe. <coughs> stand up I guess. I've got the old one hanging here. I'll just pop that in my pocket. I, I don't take that out yet unless I have trouble with the new site. So I leave it yeah. in until I'm happy with the new site. I'll just tuck that up under there. So I'll find a spot. You can see the old spots here that are still a bit red. So I have to find a spot in between that doesn't feel like it's got any lumps under the skin. Um, and that seems like that might be a good spot there. So I'll just wipe that area nice and clean with the Alco wipe. Just fan it with my hand, don't blow on it, you'll blow germs onto it. So just um, when that feels dry, you're ready to insert the new kit. So I like to put my fingers on there, otherwise I get lost where they are before I put them on. And <clears throat> I like to sit my pump on mostly on this side when I'm sleeping because I lay on my left side, which means that it's good to have the, the tubing come out on the same side facing the pump. So I just put that there, just hold it and press those two little white buttons together and it will insert my cannula. There we go. It's in, that's all it is. Then you just click that together and pull it off. And I'm now connected, ready to go. So now I'll take the old one off and that's it and just I'd like to give a little gentle touch with that just for antiseptic reasons and just hold that there for a minute for any ooze and we're done. Thank you. Just looking at the old inserter site, it's, it's a good idea to have a look at that. That's a nice straight cannula, it hasn't bent so I know that it's been really working quite well. And I have to dispose of all the sharps in a sharps container and, um, and we're done. Okay. Um, the reason why I'm using a 250 
and half of the 100, making 300, is that I fill my reservoir to capacity, therefore it lasts me six days under using 27 milligrams a day. And I change my reservoir, uh, I change my tubing um, at three days and at six days. Thank you. Damn, cut. Cut. Sorry, we'll cut it. <laughs> Shall I do that again? Sorry. Here we go, trips around. I have it upside down, Wendy. 